Okay, I want to use this as a backdrop. So this is the uh, uh, depiction of the Last Supper. Uh, where Yeshua, the night before, he gave his life for our sins. So this is going to be about the Shroud of Turin. So a lot of people poo-poo the Shroud of Turin. By the way, the people that study the Shroud of Turin are known as Shroudies. There is, however, some things you need to keep in mind. So, uh, the image on the Shroud of Turin doesn't really show up good unless you take a photographic negative image of it. So the negative image is when they first photographed it, it, it really came came out the... Uh, the the, th the things that were the negative image showed much, way much more than the positive image. There's many more things they've discovered lately. Now there, the the shroud survived two fires, uh, and so there was water, and you can see along the shroud there's these uh, where the silver burned it. it. Really shows up good in the negative image. So they dumped water on the shroud. So when moving water screws up carbon 14 dating. However, the twill fibers match stuff that was made in Jerusalem around that time. The, uh, the biome in the shroud has a mixture of things. It has stuff from, obviously, Italy, pollen from Italy, but it also has pollen that's endemic to Jerusalem. Uh, also along, there's cup marks along the side where you can tell where there was wine and a little bit of wine did a telltale sign on, on the shroud. Uh, so I believe this was the burial cloth of Jesus. Now let's go over what, why, other reasons why I think so. Uh, they, this was done on a, on a high Sabbath. So he was crucified. He was brought down before the Sabbath started. They needed something to wrap the body in. They didn't have time to prepare it for a normal. That's why uh, Mary and Martha were going there to, to finish the ceremony, the, 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 what, what you did to a body back then to, for burial. It was hastily done in Joseph of Arimathea's tomb. So they, remember, they were going there to wash the body and prepare it for the final burial. This, that was a hasty burial to get it off before the Sabbath started. So they went and grabbed uh, it, it would just make sense. Well, we need something to wrap the body in. Well, what are we going to do? It's a last-minute thing. So they go, hey, what about the linen cloth that was used as the Passover for the Seder feast? So that's 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 where they got this long, giant thing. Now, remember, they, they didn't really have chairs. They would sit down like this, reclining to eat. There's also some other interesting things. They can make a 3D image of the shroud, and it looks like a guy that's had rigor mortis from a beating, and, and there's obviously the marks on the everywhere that, that match what would happen to Jesus, but they didn't show up unless you did the negative, uh, the negative image. Uh, the enhancements of it also, there's a very interesting guy. He's Russian. I'm, I'm not going to have the time to put the links in it before or, or right now. Uh, but uh, if, if you get, uh, remember as he was going through uh, the, 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 the veil of Veronica is, is another artifact that was, uh, uh, you know, as he was, as he was walking through Jerusalem carrying the cross, this lady, Veronica, put a, a veil to wipe the sweat from his face and it had an image of it. If you take a picture of that image, if you take the double image, because remember it was he, he was laying, laying, and then the other side was put up top, so there, it's it's like a picture of him back to back. If you flip that over, superimpose the image, and then put the veil of Veronica, it looks like his eyes are open. And it's uh, anyway, this Russian guy just just. Uh, uh, just look for it. You'll find it if you're interested in it. But I do believe the Shroud of Turin was the actual burial cloth. Uh, forget about the carbon-14. Like I said, moving water changes the dates on everything. And I've done carbon dating myself personally. And uh, if you don't give them an ex uh, time to, get to shoot for, they can't find it. Uh, once they did a carbon-14 dating of an I Like Ike pen that they found on the side of the road that was, was made out of wood and it dated at uh, 3,000 years. So obviously 
Uh, carbon-14 is absolute in a lab, but anytime you put moving water on it, and this thing was exposed to water at least twice, and, and obviously the image is some, is some kind of radiation from when uh, Yeshua was resurrected by Yah. So anyway, something to think about. Anyway, check it out. It's called Awakening, that, the, the video from that uh, Russian guy, the Orthodox guy. Okay, thank you. I'm out.